We begin tonight, though, with reaction pouring in our newsroom about Middletown's decision to ban students from having cell phones in schools. News 12's Blaze Gomez is highlighting some of your comments and talking to a social media expert about the move's impact on the kids. Middletown is taking a no-nonsense approach this fall after an increasingly violent and disruptive year for kids in school. News 12 reported on the disturbing nationwide trend of social media challenges and fights seen on student cell phone videos and shared to social media. Now Middletown is outright banning cell phones from schools. I think it's a great idea. Robin Kohlner is an educator and social media expert. She says cell phones and social media are a major distraction for kids and in some cases fuel negative social emotional behaviors. There's a tremendous premium put on shock value and therefore in order to get that sense of a high, young people will try to do some outrageous things and film them. The Middletown District says there are several reasons for the ban. Superintendent Amy Creedon tells News 12, we are focusing on supporting our scholars with both their academics as well as social emotional skills. And we feel we can do this best when our young people are focused and engaged. Cell phones are a distraction when doing this incredibly important work. Since we started reporting on this story, the reaction from you has been pouring in. Take a look at these comments. Sharon B says, I don't agree with that. With all the shootings, fights, kids need cell phones to call 911. Nancy S disagrees, adding, if there's an emergency, they can turn the phone on. Mary T says, it's a bold and necessary move by Middletown. Bravo. The district says cell phones must be kept in backpacks and can only be used before and after school. The policy isn't entirely new and most schools have similar policies in place. Middletown says this year they'll just be strictly enforcing it. Blaze Gomez, News 12. Well, parents will have the opportunity to talk about the cell phone policy at a meeting next Tuesday. In the meantime, we want to hear what you have to say and weigh in on our Facebook page, and we'll read some of those comments later tonight here on News 12.